Learn to appreciate yourself. Appreciating yourself is very, very important. Self-appreciation signal self-awareness. It signal that you are a manager of your behavior, a manager of yourself. Self-appreciation means that you will not deprive yourself of the best things of this earth for you that will promote you, provide for you, and protect you. Plan for everything. Don't leave anything to chance. Plan for everything. Hallelujah. Plan for everything. Learn to defeat spiritual forces. That's another thing. If you do not learn to defeat spiritual forces, let me tell you, a lot of times we think that many things happening in our mind comes from our own mistakes, that they come from um, uh, our own um, uh, problems and so on, or our family line. That is not true. That is not true. There are so many things that are happening in your life that are caused by spiritual forces of wickedness that brings about heaviness in your mind. And sometimes we think these things are natural. They are not natural at all. You have to learn to have a place where you go and tap into power to defeat spiritual forces that are attacking your life, attacking your mind. Very, very important. It's possible that there is a wicked personality following you. Some wicked enemies and you don't know it. And that is why you've tried everything to break away from being angry, irritable, anxious, panic, unbelief, doubt, fear. I want you to learn how to defeat these forces. Forces of disappointment, forces of confusion. Learn to defeat spiritual forces. How do you defeat them? With the word of God? By calling somebody like myself to help you. To find out whether what is happening to you is natural or it coming from demonic forces. The powers of darkness respond to a command. My job is to give a command and let them leave you so that your mind will be protected. Don't open your mind just to anybody. Learn to open your mind just to people whom you trust. That's it. Next thing, learn to follow the Lord. Learn to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants to be part of your business. Hmm. See what the Bible says. In Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, the Bible says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Learn to trust God. Follow the Lord God. Follow the Holy Spirit. Follow Jesus. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. There is a very big one that is coming. And this one says, check your mouth. 
check your mouth. Your mouth is one of the reasons your, your mind is not protected. Your mind, your mouth is the reason why your mind is not protected. <laughs> Check your mouth. Proverbs 29 verse 11 says, A fool uttereth all his mind. A fool easily speaks everything in his mind. I was talking to somebody the other day. He said, I must speak my mind. I have to let you know how I feel about it. And many a time you speak your mind and that is the end of your job. Learn whether what you want to say was asked for or wasn't asked for. If it was not asked for, why do you want to give people instructions that they did not ask you for? And that's why people make a fool of you Says only a fool begin to talk. That's why when I go to an occasion, I go to a church, I go to an organization, I can easily find out who is a fool among them. Very easily in a second. Find out those who are constantly talking. You stand in the bus stop, you enter the, the subway, the sub, the train, the plane, you can tell who is a fool very easily. They are constantly talking. They are not yelling out. They are talking on the phone constantly. They cannot stay without talking. If they stay one minute without talking, they feel like they are going to die. If they stay one day without checking their Facebook status, wow. <laughs> A fool discloses everything in his or her mind. And when you see somebody who talks like that, they always make bunch and bunch and bunch of mistakes. Because they will say things that they did not want to say if they were in their right mind. <laughs> Remember to learn to appreciate yourself. That's one of the things that is going to keep your mind. Next, leave other people alone. Many of you in your offices, you are constantly listening to gossip. What is she discussing over the phone? Ah, she got a new man. Oh, he's messing around with a new woman. Oh. What is the boss doing with that man or with that woman? What are they discussing? You are constantly eavesdropping. That shows me that you don't have self-confidence in yourself and mind your own business. Mind your own business. Learn to leave other people alone so that they will leave you alone. <laughs> oh. In John chapter 5 verse 15, we read about Jesus curing this man who had a lot of legion, a lot of demons in him. And what happened was this. After the legions of demons left this man, when the people came and they saw Jesus and they saw the man having clothes over his body, which shows us that the demonic attack was so severe that he walked about nude. Now he was, he had clothes on, and the Bible says he was in his right mind. Cultivate what I'm telling you so that you will be in your right mind. <laughs> choose your fight carefully. That's another thing. Learn to choose your fight carefully. Many of you choose fights that you should not be involved in. You choose to fight for people that you should not fight for. You choose to fight for, for issues that you should not be involved with. Learn to select your fights. 
I watched a lion killed uh, an antelope or a deer, something like that. And as it was about to begin to eat its kill and feel its belly because that lion was very hungry. I watch it, I watch a lot of things on Animal Planet and the PBS, Nature, I love PBS. As it was about to begin to eat, I taken one, two, three big bites. Hyenas came from nowhere. They just came all over and surrounded the lion. And the lion looked at the sheer number. He did not say, okay, because I'm a lion, I'm the king of the jungle, I'm gonna fight. No. Nope. When he saw how many there were, he left, he left the meat there and quietly ran. He did not walk, it ran away. Who wants to stand the bite of a hyena? They have the world's strongest teeth. They can break bones. And that lion knows that if they put one teeth on his leg, it will become food. If you cannot walk in the animal kingdom, you're, you're done. You're done. Ha <laughs> ha. You become food. The lion left the food and went away. Say, I don't want no trouble with you guys. I will get another one. There is always meat for me. There is always food. Pick your fight carefully so that your mind will be protected and you will be successful. Don't just fight everybody. There are fights that you have no business to fight. Next thing. If you are going to have a peaceful mind so that you will be successful, learn to take vacation. Learn to take vacation. Don't walk until you drop and die. Ha. Don't walk for the doctors. You walk and walk and you go and give that money to the doctors. Another thing. Learn to laugh and learn to smile. Stop taking yourself too highly. Stop taking yourself too highly. I'll put here, discover yourself. Discover yourself. Which means know what is your limitation to everything. What is your gift? What are your talents? And we have to employ them and apply them. Don't throw yourself and your gift everywhere. You fit into a particular place. Discover yourself, your weaknesses and your strength. <laughs> Learn to laugh at yourself sometimes. Don't take yourself too serious sometimes. Learn to laugh and smile. Next, this is the last thing that I want to tell you this, in this long, 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 long teaching, in this long training for you. Choose in this present life to be happy. Choose to be happy. If you choose to be happy, then your mind will be safe. Jesus said in John 14 verse 1, do not allow your mind to be troubled. Do not allow your mind to be troubled. Choose to be happy and not to be sad. And that is where I will bring this to a close. And now let me share something with you. Remember that if you have decided to join the Dikai Mary's Ministries, reach 1,000 plus club, Remember, you have to contribute a sum of $1,000 to our ministries for our global evangelization. We are doing so many things out there. Training pastors, all kind of stuff that we are venturing into. And I look up to you to support what I'm doing. And if you have not yet finished contributing your own $1,000 seed, please do that immediately. You can send your check, your real check, your money order, your real money order to me at P.O. Box 
12474 Wichita, Kansas 67212. You can go to my site, the Kai Mary's Ministries, and you will see a yellow button that says donate. Go there and do, go there and contribute. Go there and give your financial support. Also, you can email me, the Kai Mary 2000, that's the Kai Mary 2000 at gmail.com. My phone number is 316-765-0060. Tell your business partners, tell your company, your corporation to invite me to come and coach their staff and tell them the simple things that they have to do to maximize increase in what you guys are doing. Your church, they need to be trained. A lot of you pastors are not yet trained. You don't really know what you're doing. Yep. You're just throwing the ball into any basket and not into the real thing. The goalpost is there for you to kick the ball into. You cannot kick it in because you don't know how to do it. That's why I'm here. So I look forward to hearing from you. Whatever area of professionalism, look for me. I'm here to coach you and to train you. Father, I thank you. I mean, let's pray. I mean, it's a business talk, but let's still pray. Father, I thank you, and I ask that as many as are willing to become professional in their field and to become high achievers, motivate them and let them begin to contact me so that I can pour into them what you pour into me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.